School district says these threats may be intended as a joke, but they are no laughing matter. That's why they were backing a bill during this year's legislative session that would have increased penalties and make offenders pay up. It's not your typical day at East Sandy Elementary School. The community is on alert after a threat came in over the weekend. For the Canyon School District, it's becoming an all too familiar response. Communications Director Jeff Haney says threats come in through social media, email or written on bathroom walls as many as two to three times a week. It's exhausting and it's time consuming and it's expensive. And it also just heightens concern in all parts of our community. Haney says in addition to the lost instruction time, the responses can cost thousands. When they recently evacuated Jordan High School for a bomb threat, it cost 13 grand. House Bill 476 school threat amendments would have allowed local districts to recoup those costs from the offender. After responding to a real or hoax threat, um, once the person or persons um, responsible were found and prosecuted, that the district could go ahead and seek that restitution. It would have also created a third degree felony charge for the crime. The district pitched the idea for the bill because they say it's time to send a message loud and clear. Whether or not somebody thought it was a hoax or a joke, um, we didn't think it was very funny. In fact, we will take all such messages very seriously. The bill was rolled out late in the session and never even got a committee hearing. The district hopes it will be studied during interim and get reintroduced next year.